Hi everyone, it's Sally Ann. I've had a few requests on how I make my embellishments, so I thought that I would just do a quick tutorial. I've never done one before, so please be patient with me. Now, this is the mold builder maker, and that's the um, packet that it came in. So I'm not sure what you would get in your country, but that's what we get over here in Australia. So you need to work the mould, make it pliable, then roll it in a ball. Okay, then press it down. Like so. Then take the image that you want to make an impression, the, sorry, the item. So if it's this one. So basically you just press that in. You need to dust it off with some powder, talcum powder. Then press that in. Like that. And once you've got the shape that you want, you just release it out like so. So then you come up with something that'll look like these. These are just a few I've done. Then that goes in the oven at low temperature. Just follow the instructions on your packet and it's about 15 to 20 minutes and then it'll come out hard hard but also a bit flexible so that you can get the mould out when you put the um, sculpery in so then you take your sculpery this also needs to be worked so I use it and um, I use my um, pasta machine but for the sake of um, doing this demonstration I'll just quickly knead it with my fingers you can probably see in the background here some of the um, embellishments I've been making and painting up so while I'm working this in my other hand I'll just quickly show you so that's one of the impressions that I've done and then when I've painted it up, it comes out like that. You see that? Looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so this is starting to get a little bit more pliable. And here's some more. You see that? So this is what it looks like before it's painted up okay I won't be a minute lady I'll just go and grab some talcum powder Okay, you take the moulds, which one you like to do, we'll just take the small one here, get some talcum powder and just dust it in here, around the edges. Then taking your sculpery or polymer clay, just press that in like so. Then 
then I used to usually take a texter, thick texter, and just use it as my roller. Oops, sorry ladies. Don't try and roll backwards and forwards as I just did, because it lifts it. So you have something like that. Then just gently peel it off. So I haven't, don't think I've worked the clay enough. Here we go, here it is. Without getting holes, which is really good with this stuff because you can just fix it. So that's what I come out with. Then I grab my blade. Make sure I don't cut on my cutting mat. <clears throat> And then I just come along and just trim around. Just gently trim it. So as you can see, like that. So when you've trimmed around, your image will come out like this. And then now that goes into your, your low temperature oven and just follow the instructions on the packet of your polymer clay and then that'll come out like so. And if you have some jagged edges I just use a nail file and just file those edges away which is over here. So then you just file those rough edges away so it smooths out. Then after you've done all that, that's when the fun begins. You can start playing using different types of paints. With this one here, I first I painted it black, so it was like this. And then I spritzed it with some water and just took off the excess black so that the black went into the grooves. Then I used my Pearl X varnish along with some Pearl X um, powders. And that gave it that nice gold shiny effect. And this one here, I first painted it with a brown color, burnt umber. And then I spritzed it again with some water and just rubbed off the excess and then I put some black into it and the same thing again and then when that was dry I came along with my rub and buff and then after all of that I then gave it a gloss varnish using these two again so that's how I got that effect with those well ladies I hope that helps you a bit it's a bit daunting when you first try to do it but after a while you can come up with a lot of different embellishments that you can be repeated and repeated and it does save you money. Alright ladies have a nice day. Bye.